Hope you guys are all doing well today and syempre sana din safe and happy kayo. And of course, Merry Christmas! Magtitrain na naman tayo ng mga bagong makeup! Madami kasi tayong supply, charot! Sobrang dami ko pa kasing bagong makeup and alam kong hindi ko kaya ang gawin ng dedicated video kaya sabi ko para, you know, ma-maximize yung time. Trying new makeup na lang, di ba? Para isang bagsakan. Meron tayong Happy Skin, Blight Cosmetics Lipstick we have here, meron tayong Maybelline Lip Gloss. Tapos eto guys, nakakatawa yung pangalan. Vice Cosmetics, Kerry Boom, Boom Pa Mist. <laughs> and many, many more. <laughs> so yeah, that's it guys. Today, samahan nyo ako mag-makeup and tignan natin kung alin dito sa mga bagong makeup na meron ako yung worth buying. Or kaya naman sabayan nyo ako mag-makeup guys. So go ahead, pick up your makeup and let's do our makeup together. Sad to say, but we don't have a new primer, kaya ang gagamitin ko na lang is from EC. And this one is yung kanilang Seaboom Balancing Drop. Kuha lang tayo ng ilang drops. Konti pa. <laughs> Kasi maganda to eh. Medyo i-warm up natin siya. Kung naghahanap kayo ng serum na hindi lang skincare, pwede din gamitin makeup base. This one is really good. Bongga siya in fairness. Maganda yung kapit ng foundation kapag kagamit siya. By the way, nagawan ko na nga pala ng video to. Kaya if you want to know my thoughts, just watch that one. Para naman sa foundation ko or base, yung gagamitin natin today is from Happy Skin and this one is yung kanilang serum cushion. I believe tatlo yung shades na meron sila dito and yung price niya is 999 pesos. Medyo price, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm crossing my fingers and... I'm hoping na maganda siya. By the way, yung shade nga palang meron ako is si Nude Beige. Ito ata yung second shade kasi meron pang Light Beige. And sana, kamatch ko to. Super cute yung packaging niya. I love it. Pero kung hindi ako nagkakamali, nagkaano to eh, issue kasi diba, yung packaging niya is very similar sa Laneige or Laneige. And this is how it looks like once you open it. Super nice nung inside. Meron siyang mirror of course and may kasama ding puff. Woo! Mukhang dark. Sana kakulay ko. Woo! Ang sakit lang talaga sa kamay ng ganitong applicator kasi di ba flat? But in fairness, the color is actually pretty good. Look at that. Close sa aking skin yung color, in fairness. Grabe yung coverage, guys. Yung dinip ko lang yung ginagamit ko, ha? Pero tignan nyo naman. Kahit hindi na ako mag-layer pa ulit, kahit hindi ko na siya patungan, kahit eto na lang, ayun o. Oh. Okay na okay na, di ba? Subukan natin mag-layer sa dark spots. In fairness, maganda yung coverage nyo, guys, ha? Medium and very buildable siya. And yung name ng product na Second Skin, bagay na bagay sa kanya because it literally looks like Second Skin. Feels really good as well guys. Hindi siya mabigat sa face. Very comfortable. And ayun, tignan nyo yung difference nung meron sa wala. Medyo pricey lang siya but I feel like you're getting what you pay for because the quality of the product is really good. I like it. And yung color guys, ang close sa aking skin. Ito na siya guys kapag ka nakalagay sa face. And for first impressions, I really love how it looks like. For those of you na hindi mahilig gumamit ng mga base na mabigat sa skin, I'm very sure magugustuhan nyo to kasi parang wala talaga nakalagay. Ang hindi ko lang talaga trip dito sa Happy Skin is that pagdating sa color selection ng base, palagi silang palpak. Palagi silang bitin, ayun. Kaya ayun, medyo ano lang talaga ako, EV pagdating sa color selection nila and hopefully, ngayong dadating na 22, kapag ka nag-launch sila ng base products, eh, mas marami na yung shade na ilabas nila. Pati yung self-adapting, sana tigilan na nila. Don't get me wrong guys ha, I really love Happy Skin, sobrang dami nilang amazing products. Color selection lang talaga, sana i-elevate na. Don't be shy, damihan nyo. Charot. I don't have any new concealer kaya ang gamitin ko na lang is yung The Sem. Wala din tayong bagong loose powder, kaya ang gagamitin ko na lang is itong Geeko Moen 03. Tsaka sa T-zone, maglagay na din tayo. For the rest of my face, ang gagamitin natin is the Everblena All Day Powder Foundation. Which I have been wanting to try for so many months. Hindi ko lang siya mabili kasi guys, medyo mahal. Tingnan nyo oh. Ang ganda ng compact. Very similar yung vibes niya sa All Day Liquid Foundation. And actually, I believe this one is basically yung parang powder version niya. Kumbaga sa MAC Cosmetics, di ba? Meron silang Studio Fix Liquid Foundation and Powder. Maganda yung texture ng powder. Pinong-pino siya. Ooh, tapos may konti siyang coverage. Ayan o. Oh. By the way, this one is in the shade Porcelain nga pala, which is yung shade ko sa liquid foundation. And again guys, ang gawin natin is i-apply lang natin siya sa area na wala pang powder. And of course, make sure na light-handed para hindi mag-move yung liquid. In fairness, maganda siya sa skin, hindi siya dry. It kinda remind me of the MAC Cosmetics Powder. Itong Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, this one reminds me of the Everblena. The only difference is that mas pino yung powder ng MAC compared dito kay Everblena. But still, in terms of how it looks like sa skin, They look very similar. I like this powder. I can definitely see myself abusing this powder. For bronzing, ang gagamitin ko is by Pen Shop. This one is their mattifying powder. Pang buong face talaga siya, but since meron silang dark, I feel like pwedeng gamitin. Kaya ayun yung gagawin ko, guys. Susubukan lang natin. Adi ko hindi mag-work, di ba? Adi hindi. Ano gagawin ko? Charot. Ang cute ng packaging. Look at that. Grabe. Ngayon ko lang nakita to. 
Ang ganda niya. And okay yung price, ha? 299. Of course, may kasabang mirror yung compact. And what's good about this is nakahiwalay yung pinaka-sponge. Ito yung darkest, which is honey. Warm beige is yung second shade. It looks like this. And then this one naman is yung lightest nila, which is called buttermilk. And as you can see, sobrang yellow nung kulay. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the color selection, kaya <laughs> hindi ko ginamit sa buong face. Pero in fairness sa texture, grabe guys, sobrang soft. It doesn't feel like yung pucho-puchong powder. And of course, as always, ilalagay lang natin siya sa outer area ng ating face. In fairness, it works as a bronzer. And yung maganda sa kanya is hindi siya sobrang pigmented, kaya it's very buildable and... Hindi nakaka-intimidate, hindi nakakatakot gamitin. But again guys, ha, this is a powder, hindi siya bronzer, but it works naman. So if you have this and if you feel like yung shade is too dark for your skin tone, don't throw it, don't give it away. Subukan nyo siyang pang bronze. Okay siya sa akin, pero as a bronzer ha. Guys, nakalimutan ko. Wala sa isip ko guys, cream nga pala yung blush ko. This one is also from Pen Shop by the way. And yung tawag dito sa product na to is Pop Beauty Cream Blush. At yung packaging niya guys, super sleek, simple lang siya and squeeze tube. Ayan, meron siyang nozzle na tip. Grabe yung pigmentation. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, feeling ko mag-work siya. And ito yung swatches nila. From top to bottom, we have the shades Spice, Gossip, and Tango. Halos tuldok lang yung nilagay ko pero... Ang kalat na ng kulay. Anyway, for today's demo, yung shade na spice yung gagamitin ko. And of course, to apply this, gagamit tayo ng brush para hindi mag-move yung base na nagawa natin. Medyo close nga pala yung formula nitong blush sa Get Ready With Me tint. But yung difference lang is yung sa Get Ready With Me, mas silicone yung texture. In fairness, look at that guys. Maganda yung kulay niya. And since nga, dinadab lang natin siya on top of powder and since creamy yung texture. Hindi niya move or nasisira yung ating base. I'm actually not the biggest fan of orange blushes but for a change and since yung eye makeup kasi natin medyo orange, orange blush na lang din yung naisip kong gamitin para uniform and monochromatic yung look. I just wish na meron pa silang ibang shade especially yung mga medyo muted, peachy ganun. Kasi diba sobrang limited lang ng options, apat lang. For the eyes, yung susubukan natin is itong soft touch eye shadow ng happy skin. I actually have the complete shades dito. I believe apat yon but I'm gonna use lang isa and ang arte. <laughs> isa lang yung susubukan ko and that is yung shade na study hall. Ayan guys, this is how it looks like and as you can see, para siyang brick color. This one retails for 299 pesos and it contains 3.5 grams. Texture is... Not soft. <laughs> Parang typical eyeshadow lang naman. There's nothing soft about it. Pigmentation is good in fairness naman. And again, this one is yung shade na study hall. Hindi ko alam kung bakit ha, pero I was expecting something different. Nung nabasa ko kasi yung soft touch, ang nasa isip ko is para siyang color pop na super shock shadow. But this one hindi, parang ano lang talaga siya, typical na eyeshadow, yung dry. <laughs> and also dito nga pala sa product na to, yung claim nila is that hindi lang siya for the eyes, pwede nyo din siyang gamitin blush. Actually sa kahit anong powder naman pwede yun eh. Kasi diba tingnan nyo kanina sa pressed powder, nagamit ko siyang bronzer. Also very powdery. Anyway, ang gawin natin guys is ilagay lang natin siya all over the lid. Tapos, i-diffuse natin yung edge para talagang sabog na sabog siya and soft. Hindi ako happy dito, happy skin. Charot. So, di ba imagine yung 299 pesos nyo kapag ka nag-search kayo sa Shopee, meron na kayong eyeshadow palette na may 6 shades, 9 shades, ganun. And ayun nga, there's nothing special about the formula to be honest. Akala ko talaga this is one of those eyeshadows na kapag ka pinrest nyo siya lumulubog. Sorry happy skin but I'm just telling the truth. There's nothing soft touch about this one. The color is nice, I'm not gonna lie. But the thing is... Panigurado, meron na kayong ganitong shade sa mga eyeshadow palettes nyo, especially kung marami kayong neutral na palette. And of course, huwag natin kalimutan ang lower lash line. Overall, for me, this one is just, you know, an okay product. Anyway, moving on, so ang subukan naman natin this time is itong liquid eyeshadow ng ZZ Cosmetics. This one is called the Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow, and actually, naswatch ko na yung isang shade, isang, isang, <laughs> isang shade nito. Sa Shopee ko nga pala nabili to guys, and I believe nabili ko to nung sale for about... 180 to 190 lang. Packaging looks like this and as you can see, super sleek ng design. Feels very solid as well. It doesn't feel cheap. From top to bottom, we have the shades 1, 2, and 3. And as you can see, grabe, sobrang reflective and on point. Ang ganda niya. Ang hirap mag-decide kung alis sa kanila. But I think I'm going with shade number 3. Ayan guys, naglagay lang ko ng konti sa arm para hygienic. Pick up natin siya using a brush. Tapos, idab. Oh my God. <laughs> Ang ganda! Ayan, idab lang natin siya sa center ng lid. I wanna cry. It's so beautiful. Parang wet look yung effect niya. Oh, it's so nice. Ewan ko ba, may something talaga sa mga ganitong product na 
kinikilig ako kapag ka ginagamit ko kasi grabe o tingnan nyo instant na nakakaano talaga siya nakakaganda ng eye makeup talaga na transform niya yung look to be honest lahat sila maganda kaya kunin nyo na lahat charot but no kung isa lang kukunin nyo I suggest atong si number 3 because sobrang universal niya and sa kahit anong eyeshadow color feeling ko bagay siya and pinong pinong yung glitter niya kaya ang ganda Sobrang smooth tignan sa lid. Grabe guys, this is amazing. Tapos, since nga liquid eyeshadow siya, hindi siya makalat, hindi messing gamitin. For eyeliner, ang gagamitin ko is from Maybelline and this one is yung kanilang line tattoo. This one is in the shade brown and what's nice about this is retractable siya. Color is nice, I like it. And dito sa isang to guys, ang gagawin ko is ilalagay ko lang siya ng close sa aking lash line para lang medyo, you know, magmukhang thick yung lashes and medyo magkaroon siya ng dark na frame. Tapos I think medyo i-wing din natin. Para lang magmukhang elongated yung eyes. Guys, look at that. It doesn't smudge. I'm so happy. For mascara, ang gagamitin ko is from She Glam. And this one is yung kanilang volume and length all-in-one mascara. In fairness, ang kitang packaging niya. This is dual-ended. So basically, sa isang end, meron ka ng ordinary na thick na applicator or wand. Tapos, on the other end naman, eto siya guys. Meron kang plastic na wand. Yung naka-curve. Send is very typical na makeup, mascara. Same lang yung nakasulat. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung volume, ano yung lengthening. Start tayo dito sa parang plastic na spoolie. Sana maganda, no? Uy ha, in fairness, effective siya. I think ito yung lengthening. Kasi compared sa walang mascara, this one, itong side na merong mascara, mas mahaba yung lashes tingnan. Tsaka hindi siya nagka-clump ha. Ito yung meron sa wala. Hopefully nakikita niyo yung difference, but sa personal, meron naman. Itong isang end, hindi ko alam kung isasama ko ba siya, imimix ko ba siya, or sa kabila na lang. Sa kabila na nga lang, baka mamaya magkaano eh. Maganda leche-leche eh. But anyway, I think this one is yung volumizing. Yeah, feeling ko ito nga yung volumizing because in terms of length, parang wala nagbago. But in fairness, maganda yung formula kasi hindi talaga siya clumpy. But mas prefer ko tong lengthening, guys. Kasi parang ano na siya, 2 in 1 eh. Tsaka nakakatuwa yung idea na dalawang mascara in 1, diba? Parang depende sa preference nyo that day or mood. For highlight, ang gagamitin ko is itong prismatic highlight ng Revlon. Original price nito is 750 pesos but nakuha ko lang siya ng 350 nung 12-12. Kaya sobrang happy ko kasi ang laki ng discount. This is how it looks like and grabe, guys. Not Pakaganda. Look at that. Diba? Ang perfect. Tapos guys, nagulat ako kasi nung sinurch ko sa Google, lumabas na ito palang isang to is a dupe para sa Anastasia na Amrezi Highlight. And sobrang close nung kulay nila sa isa't isa. Kaya if you love that or kaya naghahanap kayo ng dupe, you might want to check this one out. Ang dulas niya guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Sobrang blinding and reflective. Ang ganda ng texture in fairness. Oh my God. Konti pala yung nalalagay ko pero ayan na be. Look at that. Oh my God, it is so nice. Ang intense nga lang, kaya you have to be careful. Pero ang ganda. Para siyang foiled, pero hindi pangit sa skin. Look at the highlight. Oh my God, it is so nice. So stunning. Tapos kapag ka nakaharap ka, maganda siya kasi wala siyang white cast. Wala siyang base sa ilalim. I am so happy with this purchase. Oh my God. I love. I'm so happy. Same sa kanilang bronzer. This one is amazing as well. Pak. Mm. Kakasilaw. <laughs> I promise, sobrang worth it. Kaya kapag ka nag-sale to, i-add to cart and i-check out nyo. For lipstick, ang gagamitin ko today is from Blight Cosmetics and this one is yung Lip Treat. Five yung shades na meron dito but I only have three. Actually, complete siya pero hindi ko mahanap yung dalawa. Packaging looks like this. Super cute. I love it. It kinda remind me of ano, mga Korean na lipstick, ganun. It smells nice. Parang may pagka-bubblegum siya. And I think based sa ibang nakita ko nag-post, parang ano to, Medyo may pagkahawig sa Sunny's face na lips. Ano ba yun? Sunny's something. And this one is oatmeal. This one is pudding. And this one is cheesecake. To be honest, yung kulay parang walang kunik sa pangalan. But okay lang. etong <laughs> shade na oatmeal yung gagamitin ko guys. Tapos I think ang gagawin ko is medyo lalagyan ko ng darker shade sa inner. Bahala na si Batman. And correct nga, medyo may pagka-similar yung kanyang texture dun sa first release ng Sunnies. It's nice, maganda siya. Very comfortable sa lips. Very lightweight. It doesn't feel drying. Atong kulay lang na to, hindi ako sure kung gusto ko ba siya. Kasi parang ano eh, kulay poop. <laughs> mm, yep, hindi bagay sa eye makeup ko. Subukan natin si Cheesecake. Nakakaloka naging ano na, lip swatch. Ah. Ayan, siguro ano na lang natin, i-blot. I don't know, I'm not sure sa mga colors. Or masyado lang orange for my preference. Kasi diba, alam nyo naman na more on ano ako. Pinkish nude, mga ganun. I mean, the formula is really, really good. It's just that the color selection, in my opinion, is too orange for my liking. This one, actually, you know what? I feel like Kerry. I mean, still too orange for my liking, but it looks really good sa eye makeup. 
But personally, again, mas gusto ko nga yung more on ano eh, pinkish, ganun. I almost forgot, meron nga pala tayong lip gloss. This one is by Maybelline and yung tawag sa kanya is Lifter Gloss. Again, kagaya na sabi ko sa haul, I was planning to buy three shades, kaya lang nag-sold out. Kaya ayun, ang ending, isa lang nabili ko and yung shade na yun is si Moon. I believe anim yung shades na meron dito. I got this for 249 pero yung original price niya is 349 This one actually pinkish siya eh. Kaya I'm not sure kung magmamatch sa ating lips. Dead man na kahit mag-iba yung kulay ng lipstick. Mmm. Mmm, ganda. I need more. Tapos medyo may ano siya, sweet na minty taste. In terms of feeling sa lips, actually very true. Close sa Fenty, but I feel like this one is a little bit lighter. Yung sa Fenty kasi talaga para siyang jam, medyo thick. But this one, again, mas light siya compared sa Fenty. But yung feeling nilang pareho sa lips is very similar. Sobrang comfortable and... Mapifeel mong merong nakalagay, but... It's not like an easy or off sa pakiramdam. Final product na susubukan natin is from Vice Cosmetics and this one is yung Boom Pamist. <laughs> Carry Boom Pamist. Ayun yung tawag sa kanya guys. This one retails for 295 and okay nung name. And according dito guys, this is a matte prep and set mist. So pwede nyo siyang gamitin before mag makeup and after. Tapos ano daw siya? Oil control, skin nourishing and non-sticky. Ooh, amay citrus. No, amay... Yeah, amay four seasons, parang ganun. Hindi nga lang ako sure sa pinaka-mist kasi parang parang naninipa. Charot. <laughs> Ang lakas, be. Ang lakas niya, oh my god. Kahit... Oh, what the fuck, guys? Diba nyo, diba? Parang ako naligo. I don't like the sprayer. Masyado siyang intense, guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the sprayer. I feel like kailangan talaga super layo. Kasi... Malakas yung buga. Nalunod lang ako ng very, very light. <laughs> Hindi siya malagkit. Totoo naman. Mattifying, to be honest, I'm not sure. But as you can see, nawala yung pagka-powdery ng face ko. Mas nagmukhang natural yung finish ng makeup. For me, okay lang siya. I mean, siguro kapag ka bago mag-makeup, gagamitin ko siya. Pero kapag ka nakapag-makeup na ako, I feel like hindi ako comfortable gamitin. Because again, sobrang harsh ka ng spray. Anyway guys, this is the completed look. And I really love how it turned out. Kasi diba, ang neat tignan. Especially yung eye makeup. For those of you na nagaharap ng last minute na makeup look, you might want to try this one out. And of course, hindi naman kailangan na yung product na ginamit ko yung gamitin nyo. I mean, kung ano yung meron kayo, ayun na lang gamitin nyo. And gawin nyo na lang reference yung look ko today. And that's it. That is it for today's video. Ito lang sigurong dalawa yung medyo, you know, 50-50 ako. I really hope na nag-enjoy kayo. And sana din guys, yung mini-review ko about the products, eh, nakatulong sa inyo. Especially if... May ilan dito sa mga product na sinubukan ko yung matagal nyo nang gustong subukan. In a way, diba? Sana nakatulong yung pag-test ko sa kanila para ma-determine nyo if worth trying ba sila. And syempre, sana guys, ma-enjoy nyo yung Christmas this year. Whether kasama nyo yung family nyo, you're living alone, nasa ibang bansa man kayo, or even if you lost your loved one this year, kasi diba, sobrang daming nangyaring negative. Ayaw kumiyak. Para magiging emotional ako, kaya ayaw ko na. Itigil na natin to. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay safe. And I hope to see all of you again on my next one.